morning guys my name is crystal and welcome to my youtube channel how are we this morning i hope everyone's okay the weather doesn't look very nice at the moment however it's still humid but it looks like here in rochester in corey's road this morning there's been some rain so there's been some rain here guys but the temperature in my flat is 24 degrees so when I look outside and it's all wet and it's all dreary and I will show you and the bin men are due today it, it's a rubbish day in Corey's Road today the bin men come in so what I do in the morning is I water my plants Water all my flowers on the balcony. See? It's every morning. And I'll fill that up later on. <laughs> this is the view from my balcony this morning. There's a dog barking down the bottom. Go down here a bit. There you go. It's my flowers, they're on the balcony. I've got a windmill. There's a bike up there, you can see, tied up, a bicycle. I've never ridden a bike or driven a car. I'm going to go in and finish watering my plants later on. So it looks like it's been raining and it's very um, bright. dark outside. My dog is a chihuahua. It's not a sausage dog, it's a chihuahua. Small brown chihuahua. Right, so we're going to get on to what happened yesterday after I go through this. Good, Alexa, good morning. Good morning. On this day in 2006, the solar system lost one of its planets. Well, it's technically still there, but a redefinition of the term meant that poor Pluto lost its planetary status. Alexa, what's the time, please? The time is 7.49 a.m. Alexa, what's the date today? Alexa, the date? Alexa, today what? is the... Yeah, Alexa, what's the date today? Today is Thursday, the 24th of August. And Alexa, what's the weather outlook? In Rochester, it's 18 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today's forecast calls for more of the same, with a high of 24 degrees and a low of 14 degrees. Also, there's a flood alert in effect. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? Waiter, waiter, this egg is bad. Don't blame me, sir. I only laid the table. So guys, it is Thursday, uh, the bin men are due here in Corey's Road, probably later on this morning. Um, yeah, so let's tell you what happened yesterday. What happened yesterday? Um, I got up in the morning, um, I took my dog for a walk after my mum said that she was going to try and get a taxi for a chihuahua so my mum was going to try and get a taxi for a chihuahua um, and I'd already 
uh, I think I'd already walked Max, or I, I maybe I hadn't, but I took Max out for a walk, a relatively normal walk, and I think Charlie didn't turn up with his bucket hat. Um, so I walked on the field by myself with Max. Um, I came back into my flat. My neighbour upstairs was still in. He was still home at that time. So he was still home. Um, so I came back. I put some washing in a bag. Um, and I got ready to go around to my mum's at Doral Gardens in Chatham. But I took first thing in the morning, I, I got up, so I got up, I got up first thing in the morning, got up, and I went out to the co-op, you know, where the blonde lady uh, works, um, she wasn't in there, and I grabbed a black basket, as I would write in my diary, I grabbed a black basket, um, and I carried on with my shopping. Um, there, there was a guy with a Bluetooth like in his ear, and the other members of staff were working. I didn't really have any problems. I got myself a, a latte from the Costa coffee machine. Uh, they still haven't got any jelly babies. The jelly babies have not been stocked up since I had the last packet. That's why I've got jelly babies from Tesco. Um, so I went around getting like um, things that I needed uh, to top my food cupboard up. Um, I had a small shop from Tesco the day before and I didn't seem to get a lot from my money. And I told you I was, I was, I was charged quite a bit of money. So I was charged a lot of money. Um, because I'd forgotten that you have a minimum basket with Tesco's and I had to pay £4.50 to have my shopping delivered the same day, right? So that had pissed me off, I'd lost £10. My mum had said that she'd sent me some money in the post, so um, she said if, the ta if, if a taxi can't take your dog, Genestra, uh, there's some money coming in the post right that's what she said to me so I thought fair enough um, so I also got a like a 99 Cadbury's flake ice cream I came home with my shopping I'd also got a scratch card which I didn't win on I didn't win anything on it However, I've got a scratch card with £10 on it that's got the gems on, so I'm fine with that. Um, so yeah, Kim wasn't working in the co-op yesterday morning, so I didn't speak to her. A gentleman served me very nicely. I got my co-op bag, brought my stuff back to the flat, put it away in the cupboard and um, everything was fine everything was okay um, it's very very hot in here I don't know why it is so hot there's been no heating on and I haven't even put the heater on to, to put the water on so I don't know why it's so hot in here it's like a sauna and then when I go out in shorts and if it's like a a day where it looks like it's going to rain like today I'm wearing shorts and I should be wearing trousers it is really sweating I'm sweating buckets and the sun's not even out I don't know what this heat is but it's awful it's bringing all the flipping insects out and everything it's nasty um, because in, in the, the weather like this, insects breed, I think, faster. There's loads of them, isn't there? We're going to be overcome with swamps of uh, wasps, flies and God knows what else in this heat. Um, so, 
later on my mum rang and she said I've ordered a taxi for around 12.30 uh, um, Genestra she doesn't call me Crystal she calls me Genestra and it's not Jennifer she's calling me she's calling me Genestra she said um, I've managed to get you a taxi for a dog um, however I don't know if you're going to be able to get one back now she'd already ordered the taxi <coughs> excuse me she'd already ordered the taxi for me to go up there and then she said she didn't know if she was going to be able to get me a taxi back so that made me a bit anxious and nervous it did made me anxious and nervous <clears throat> so I waited for the taxi um, it was a red and white taxi Vokes there's a Vokes in Raynham I don't know where the Vokes taxi came from 01634 Vokes taxis picked me up outside my address a driver he hardly spoke to me he said Doral Gardens I said yes, I have Max and my Chihuahua with me in the back of the taxi with, bag, with my bag of washing and my handbag and uh, he never spoke another word, all he'd said was Durrell Gardens and I went yes and that was it, he didn't say another word to me I was wearing shorts because I was extremely hot I'm going through the menopause and you do get hot flushes as well so I was overheated no other reason and I had my baseball cap on and my body warmer so I wasn't like that's normal for me it wasn't nothing special so he actually did not say another word to me at all in that whole journey so when I got to the top of the road my I, I was had like, struggling with a dog under my arm I had a bag and I had a cup and my mum was behind the door she hadn't come out so I nearly fell out the taxi and burnt myself with a hot cup of coffee. My mum came out of the door and she had a strange top on. She's an old lady and she had a mother-to-be top on. She had a brown t-shirt with mother-to-be mother -to on it and I thought, you're not a mother-to-be. That's a bit strange. A lady that's nearly 80 wearing a mother-to-be top. I thought, wow, that's a bit weird. And she looked smarter than normal, turned up jeans, Jennifer did. I wasn't wearing jeans. I'd worn jeans in when I was picking the Tesco shopping up, wasn't I? I was wearing jeans. Wearing jeans in that video. And that video was me in Rochester. It wasn't my mother in Chatham having a shopping delivery. It was me in Rochester. So she was dressed like I was dressed. The previous day picking up shopping uh, from the Tesco delivery guy and she's an old lady of nearly 80 so she came out for she very kindly paid the taxi driver I went into her flat with Max there was nothing laid out on the table because I don't think it was expected that I was going to go up there there was no nothing out on ready at all and the television wasn't on. My mum came in, into the flat and um, she stroked Max. Max recognised my mum. He barked at my mum and, and he was with my, like my mum. And um, sorry, I'm sweating in this flat. It, I don't know why it's so hot inside the building. I've got a clue. So I'm going to have to put the fan on. over hot um, so um, chatted with my mum put the, put the TV on and she handed me the takeaway leaflets and a pen and a piece of paper and she told me to order a takeaway so it's usually super pizza the guy that's a regular driver that comes to Doral Gardens and my mother Jennifer answers the door 
and she's dressed like uh, the top half of her is dressed like me the bottom half I don't wear rolled up jeans I never roll my jeans up I've actually bought a pair of jeans from the clothes shop upstairs in the pound shop in Strood which have been rolled up at the bottom First time in ages yesterday, I w or the day before yesterday, I wore jeans to go out um, in the evening. So, um, yeah. God, this heat, sorry. Um, My mum seemed to get very agitated after a phone call from Charlotte. So Charlotte, one of my mum and mine's relatives, obviously a female young lady, I think she's the same age of one of my sons, 26 or 27. Charlotte rang on her mobile number 666, 666. And my mum started getting agitated after the phone call. Her mood seemed to change after Charlotte's phone call to my mum. And she seemed to get aggressive. And she started shouting. She started being loud. And she started getting quite shouty. Uh, for absolutely no reason. Because I was just sat there quiet watching YouTube videos. Um, I hadn't heard of Brian Harvey uploading a video for a while so I decided to look at Brian Harvey's channel and I played a bit of his music, uh, Homely Girl, I put a video of Homely Girl on that was Brian Harvey singing. Um, so I was, um, I was just sat there and my mum was going off on one, she was going off on one. And she started that business where, you know, I was trying to copy my mother. I'm, I'm trying to copy my mother. I'm trying to imitate my mother's voice. And it was driving me crazy. And I said to my mum, there's no need to shout. I said, I can't walk home with a dog. Max is tiny. You can't expect me to leave the flat and walk home with a chihuahua, dog and cat food and a bag full of wet washing like what happened to me at Christmas last year. I said, you can't, ex you know, I don't know why you're shouting. I don't know why you're yelling. Um, I had to go out into the back garden and, and just take a few breaths because I was trying to, you know, why was my mother just shouting after Charlotte's phone call? Why was she shouting? It's also hurting my ear. Um, so I went outside, I went took Max for a little walk around the little garden area and I tried to uh, like, you know, and I went back inside and I sat down and I was obviously waiting for the takeaway delivery and it was like my mum wanted me to leave and I, you know, I nearly fainted the day before, it's, the heat is terrible um, I don't know whether I've had an infection or maybe a, 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 a summer cold, but I, I was on the field the other night and I, I nearly passed out in the heat. And there my mother was getting louder and louder and shouting like she wanted me to, to, to go after I just got there. Um very very difficult situation and I'm going to tell you the rest in another video because this one is nearly coming to an end but I don't know what was going on yesterday at all I don't know and, and I expect a taxi company if they've allowed me to go up with a dog then obviously I'm going to need to go back with the dog and they know my mum very well she spends a load of money on taxis they know who my